Sports Agenda! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Islamabad's Lakeview Park. We're going and heading towards the water. We've got a prayer area here as well, which is always a positive. So we're approaching Asar time. We're heading towards the boats. It's hopefully a better experience, but uh, it doesn't really look that positive. Your name on a grain of rice. He's written it on a grain of rice. This guy writes your name on a grain of rice. What a legend. It's like vomit water. Oh, it's filthy. This time we're sitting in an electric boat. You can see all different kinds of uh, water devices. The tractor ones are nice as well. But obviously they require some effort. And some energy and some hard work. And I'm not feeling in the hard work mood at the moment. Look at that. Look at the scene behind me. Nice. And here's the dawn. Look at the people on the side admiring this uh, mediocre looking boat. We're gonna go around this, uh, this little island of marsh and gunk and mud. Yay! Now bearing in mind this is a tourist resort you know, there should be some effort keeping the waters clean. You can, you can see the gunk over here. And it stinks of uh, excrement. And it's sad, places like this should be kept clean. But uh, hopefully something will be done. And we got this guy who's going to put us to shame. He's undercutting us. Look at this guy. No shame. No remorse on his face whatsoever. So we're still in Lakeview Park. There you go. Very nice. We finished our mediocre boat ride. Had a bit of an ice cream. And uh, time for Asr Salah. And mashallah, go hand it to these guys. They've done a good job. And their tent, you can pray. And you've got wudu facilities on the side. If you come to Pakistan, I suggest you stick to your principles that you learnt as a child of throwing your trash in the bin even if you see people not doing what you've been taught to do now you might look around and say hey I mean what's the point you know what is my one cotton gonna do but it's gonna do a lot because it's a matter of principle someone sees you following the rules they may be inspired to do the same and that may lead to further change. There's a story, short story, about someone making a difference. When the tide comes in, the starfish come in as well. So we saw all these starfish on the seashore and this kid was throwing them back into the water one by one. Then this person saw him and said, you know, why are you doing that? You know, what difference is it gonna make? So we picked up one starfish, threw it in the water and said, it made difference to that one. He picked up another one, threw it in the water and said it made difference to that one. So, I mean, just because you can't change everything, doesn't mean you shouldn't at least do your bit. And, you know, make a little bit of difference, whatever you can make. Stick to your principles, yeah? Even if there's no bin, keep the thing with you. And, you know the deal. When you do come across a bin, throw in the bin. Yay! It's actually pretty scary. I had to close my eyes. But uh, let's keep that between you and me, yeah? Nice. Pakistani style. Simple rides, but they scare the heebie jeebies out of you. Bhai, tomara movie bhi sahi ban gaya na. Taake puri park beach mein. Uwa, 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 uwa. 
इसका नाम क्या है घोड़े का इसका नाम है क्या नाम है घोड़ा डेजर्ट किंग क्या डेजर्ट किंग डेजर्ट किंग जी Assalam o Alaikum guys. We are here at the monuments. Just prayed Maghrib Salah. This is excellent architecture. Nice steps. Look at this guys. That's Kila. That's Badshahi Masjid. Both of these are in Lahore and this is Faisal Masjid which is in Islamabad. And these two, the dude with the hat, that is Muhammad Ali Jinnah, who is the founder of Pakistan. And next to him is his sister, Fatima Jinnah. And uh, underneath are random people, I guess, who uh, like them. At the top, that's Minare, Pakistan, 1940. Uh, over here, they decided uh, Pakistan's independence. So uh, Aurangzeb was a very famous Mughal leader. Uh, he actually made Badshah Masjid. I didn't actually know that, but there you go. So over here, you have Allama Iqbal. It was his dream of an independent Pakistan. Uh, but Muhammad Ali Jinnah actually put that, put the cogs into motion and done the practical aspect. But the dream they claim it was of uh, Allama Iqbal. He's associated with uh, the city of Sialkot. He's a famous poet of the East, uh, very well known in Iran, Pakistan, India, Afghanistan. And underneath you have the fort called the Shahi Killer in Lahore. Uh, whenever Lahore was taken over, whenever this, this place, the, the Shahi Killer, was taken over, then that was it, that was the end of Lahore. So this is kind of like the crown jewel of Lahore. So this is a, similar to a golden temple of the Sikhs uh, found in Lahore which shows the uh, interfaith connection that Pakistan still has and holds. Right at the top here, you've got the place where Qaid e Azam, aka Muhammad Ali Jinnah, used to rest. So people actually go there. Uh, so that's found in Quetta and people go there, you know, just to see um, and just check it out. Underneath you've got the Khaybar Pass in Khaybar Pakhtun Khan. So that's also got a historical significance and it's one of the visited sites in Pakistan as well. So this was the monument uh, in Islamabad. Amazing, amazing uh, architecture. They've uh, fashioned these as petals and uh, it holds, holds the history of Pakistan and uh, of the founding fathers. We've actually missed where the museum is uh, because the timings are finished. But uh, we'll try to, inshallah, come again and give you more about the historical aspect of Pakistan as well. Look at this place, guys. This is also part of the monuments. And uh, look at that amazing design. We're in Blue Area in Islamabad, which is very famous for its uh, trade centers and uh, a lot of corporations have opened up their shops here as well. You've got Nike, you've got Adidas. It's quite an expensive area and uh, look at the nightlife. Still quite packed. It's Friday evening. It is literally 9.30. Look at that. And uh, we just come to get some kebabs, some kebab and naan to round off, <coughs> to round off the day. There you go guys, a little motorcycle view of the nightlife of Islamabad. Blue area to be specific. All sorts of clowns here. Just kidding. Uh, or am I? We found our spot to get our kebabs from. Here it is. Live uh, barbecue. 
happening at 9.46 at night, mate. Look at this. This is a marketplace called Sitara Market. Translates as the Star Market. So this is known as the Chappal Kebab. It's nice and round and fat. I know what you're thinking. These guys must love their kebabs. And you know what? I'm not embarrassed to say this, but we do. Thank you to the people of Turkey for introducing us to the kebab. Come also time, I'm probably gonna have to swim into the masjid. And I won't need to do any wudu, because I'll have it when I'm there. Where did it go? It's right there. There you go, guys. It's weird.